Vicki Lee bags and this is the bag that we are going to be making this week. Um, it is a crossbody and it's wonderful for walking or anything you want to do with hands free. Okay, so these are my cut out pieces and um, I did interface all the backs of the pieces with the light weight. Some of them have um, medium weight as well. Um, because it is a bag that you will be wearing and not one that you need to stand up straight on the counter. I did not use a heavy weight interfacing. Anyway, you're going to need two pieces cut out for the shell and I cut these eight and a half cross by I believe ten and a half down. Two identical pieces. The pocket for this project that's going to have the zipper on the front is eight and a half inches across by 12 inches down because we're going to fold that one in half. That's going to sit on your bag right about here. Your top piece for this part is 3 inches by 8 and a half inches across because that is going to sit up there. And your zipper to match your project. This one is 14 inches long. I recommend you use a little bit longer than your project um, because it's a little bit easier to work with on your sewing machine. Okay, and then your liner is going to be the exact same measurements. You're going to have the front and the back. You will have a pocket on the inside. So again, this is 12 by 8 and a half. It's interfaced. It's just going to be folded over. So this is the inside of your bag. You're going to have a long strap. It is going to be a crossbody, and I'm going to show you how to add fabric um, so that it doesn't have a lot of bulk. We're going to do the horizontal instead of just adding a piece to the end here. And I think this looks better. I think it um, is a little bit more forgiving when you join. Um, fabric together if you have the diagonal line. So we're going to do that. And again, this is interfaced. You want a nice strap. It's going to be sitting on you. It's going to be carrying a little bit of weight. So you want it to be soft but very, very strong. And on the liner, I chose a piece of Velcro. And I'm going to explain why I cut this later. A little diagonal. And your Velcro really should match your piece because that's going to sit on the lining side. And, you know, I should have cut these out a little bit bigger. It's supposed to be the same exact size. It is short a little bit for the width, but that doesn't matter. Um, these pieces are uh, four, let me see, three inches by four and a half, so three across by four and a half. And these are for these little guys, okay? So, anyway, so let's get started. So we're going to take one of the shell pieces and we're going to start working on our front pocket. So here's your piece that's eight and a half by 12 and we're going to turn it. Put it in the machine. This is close to a half an inch of an edge. That part doesn't really matter. Okay. I always reinforce my seams by going forward and backwards. Strengthen it. Turn this inside out. This is the part I like to take it to the ironing board. I like things really nice and pressed. Um, but I want you to see that you do have some options at this point before we iron. Maybe we can zoom in here. I want to show you this. And here is your seam. You can iron it like that and nobody's 
the wiser that that is your seam. You can also, to make it a little bit more decorative, you can slide it back just a little bit, press it like this, and you have a little bit of decorative detail to your pocket. That's pretty with or without a zipper. And I think that's how I'm going to iron it today because when we put the zipper on, it just gives it an added little something to the pocket. So let me iron that like this and I will be right back. Okay, so my pocket is done. I did choose to fold it over and leave the seam here. Just gives it a little bit more of a fun look. And where you place your pocket is kind of up to you. I placed mine a couple inches up from the bottom. I can always adjust this part later, but this is pretty much where I want it. It's not really a big deal where you want to put it. You don't want to put it down here because you're going to lose pocket space when you sew up the bottom and you don't want it too close to the top because it, it just will not look right and feel right. So I'm going to place it about here. So I'm going to say it's about two and a quarter inches up. Okay. Even. I'm going to put a couple pins in there. Okay. I'm going to sew it onto the top shelf piece. I'm going to go about an eighth, maybe even a quarter of an inch. from the very, very bottom. I'm going to back stitch, make sure it's strong. Doing is getting that piece out of the way. Here's the top of your Just pocket. On my okay, so at this point, I'm going to set my fabric as close to the teeth as I can. pins in to hold it. See, it's nice to have this longer zipper because the zipper pull will be out of my way. Otherwise, I would have to have it open, which is not a big deal. This works out really nice. I'm going to put one more pin here on the end. Seems like on most of my projects I usually get a good poke, so we'll hopefully we won't today. That'd be nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, and the idea is to sew as close to the zipper teeth as possible because um, it just gives it a really nice look and it makes makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to slip that under. Okay, set that there. I'm going to go forward and back. stretch with this side. You can 
see how nice that turned out. Okay. Now we're going to take our three inch by eight and a half piece. And I do want you to see that I did fold that down about a half of an inch. And I just wanted a pretty edge to lay down on this part of the zipper. I didn't want the raw piece. That is not correct. So I folded it, set it down, and you want it to line up with this piece here. And I'm going to put in a few pins and we'll sew it on to the other side. When I first started sewing, just a few years ago actually, everybody was telling me how difficult and how tricky zippers were and I stayed away from them. And I did a couple and found out how fun and how really easy they are. So I hope we don't tell younger people or anybody that they're difficult or tricky because that doesn't always have to be the case. I think I'm showing you how really, really easy this can be. Okay, so make sure this piece is completely out of your way. Switch sides. Ready to switch sides? Okay, there we go. Make sure that's lined up exactly where you want it go forward and backward for strength. Pull that end in place. Be so careful of your pad. Take your time. And there you go. Your zipper is in. Very simple. Okay, and that's all the time we have today. Until next time, happy sewing.